What's up guys, welcome back to the video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get these media apps like YouTube, Netflix, Plex, Amazon Prime Video, and Twitch. And I'm also gonna show you guys how to go ahead and transfer package files from your PC or your Mac and install them onto your particular PS4. Now, as far as I can confirm, I've tested out YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, because these are something that I use often. As for Plex, I'm not really sure. I don't even have an account over there. I don't have an account on Twitch either, but it does look like it does have some errors over here. So guys, as you can see, YouTube does work over here on my particular PS4. I just typed on my name and I can see my channel and all the videos I've posted. So YouTube does seem to work. You can go and choose YouTube out. Moving on to Prime Video. So here we are in Prime Video, guys. All you got to do is click on sign in and sign in with your Amazon account. Or just to show you that it's working, I'm going to go to browse videos. And as you can see, we do see a lot of videos over here. I'm just going to try and fire any one of them up and see if I can display a trailer just to show you that it works. Okay, so here we go. You have a watch trailer button. Click on watch trailer and the trailer should load. There you go, guys. Looks like it's working. That's pretty much how I want to show you that. And finally, we have Netflix. You can go to open up Netflix now. And here we go, guys. Netflix works as well. You can go ahead and sign in or click on get started. Let me see what happens. Um, let's see. Continue. Okay, it looks like it's trying to sign you up for a new account. So guys, you can go and sign into your Netflix account as well, and you can watch your Netflix and totally chill. Okay, so I'm going to go and start fresh. I'm going to delete these apps, and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you where you can go and get these media apps. I'm going to leave all the link in the description, guys, so you can go and check it out over there. And I'm going to show you how to transfer it over to your PS4 and how to install them, because I do get a lot of questions on how to install a package file, and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Okay, let's jump onto the computer. You just need two different links over here. So thanks to the WizWiki. So he helped us out in porting this over for 9.00 and with no PSN necessary. So this is actually a bundle, a pack of apps. That's a Netflix, YouTube, Plex, Twitch, and Media Player. All comes bundled together. And here is the link, guys. I'm gonna leave this link in the description. So you just have to click this. And once you go here, it's a mega link. It's about 360 MB right over here, guys. So click on download. And once you have it downloaded, you can then unzip it and you'd be having all these package files together. As for the other link, guys, this is for Prime Video. If you want to use this one, then you can use this link here. I will leave this link in the description as well. Just click on download and you can go ahead and download this as well. So guys, once you have downloaded and extracted the files, you should be able to have all these package files. This is all .pkg files, guys. This basically is the package files. So you do have all of these from the WizWiki. And then this is the Amazon Prime one. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install these package files on your particular PS4. And in order to do that, first you need to have an external hard drive or a pen drive. So I'm going to go and plug mine in. So there we go. This is my external hard drive. That's a PS4 trans is what I call it. So guys, here's another important thing to note over here. Whatever USB pen drive you're using or an external hard drive, it has to be XFAT or FAT32 or your PS4 is not going to recognize it. So either format it to XFAT or to FAT32. Um, I would recommend to use XFAT because if, you have, if you're transferring large package files to the PS4, it has to be an XFAT. FAT32 does have a limitation of only 4 gigs per file. So I would recommend you to go for XFAT. All right, so with that out of the way, guys, another thing to note, guys, when you're transferring a package file to your PS4, it does not read folders. It has to be on the root of the particular drive. So when I say the root, it's when you open it up, and the very first thing you see is going to be the root at the very base level. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this. Just drag and drop it. There you go, guys. It's all copied in over here. So if you notice over here, it is all on the root of my drive. So if I close this and I open up my drive, you can see one folder here and you have all of these other package files on the root of my drive. This is the only way the PS4 is going to detect these particular package files. So once you've done this, guys, let's go and eject the drive and let's jump over to the PS4. All right, guys, so back on my PS4, I'm just going to be logging in. I'm just got it out from rest mode. So I go to settings. As you guys can see, I am presently jailbroken. I do have Golden running right now. If I go here, go to package installer. As you can see, it says no packages found because my external hard drive is not presently plugged in. So I'm going to leave out of here and I'm going to plug in my external hard drive now. All right, guys, so now my external hard drive is now plugged into the PS4. Now I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to Golden and open up package installer. As you guys can see, now all the packages that we actually copied over is now visible right over here. 
But if you notice, the folder is not visible here, guys, because it does not read the folders. It can only read the package files from the root of the drive. But this one over here, if you notice a dot underscore, this is pretty common for Mac to go ahead and create these things over here, guys. So completely ignore that. If you're using Windows, you will not be able to see this thing over here. So don't worry about it. I, I don't really care about it. So just avoid this one. Because guys, if you try to install this one, it's gonna be a cut up package because it is not a package at all. So these are the actual packages that we copied over. So all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and click X and it's gonna start installing the package. It's as simple as that, guys. Now the package is actually installed, done. So moving on to the next one, click on Netflix. Great, Netflix is installed as well. Click on Plex. So guys, I'm gonna skip over PS4 Media Player because I did try installing that last time and every time I tried opening up, it did give me a kernel panic. I'm not sure if something is wrong with this particular media player. Uh, but I'm going to avoid this one. I'm not sure. You guys can test it out. Let me know if you're having a kernel panic as well for this particular package. But I'm going to skip this through. Moving on to Twitch, which I don't really use. But I'm going to go ahead and install it just for the sake of this video. And finally, we have YouTube. I'm going to install this as well. All right, guys. So once you're done, you can go back to your home screen. And there you go. You have all these packages installed over here just like we did. YouTube, Twitch, Plex, Netflix, and Prime Video. That's about it, guys. This is as simple as it is. This is how you go ahead and install package files on your particular PS4. So to go ahead and launch any one of them, go ahead and highlight which one you want and click on X. And that should go ahead and launch it for you. And there you go, guys. Netflix all open and ready to go. And likewise, you have the other apps as well. All right, guys, so that's about it for this particular video. Just to quickly show you on how to install these particular media apps and where you can find them and how you can go ahead and install a package file on your particular PS4 after you're jailbroken on 9.00. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you have any comments about uh, anything that you'd like to know, and I'll be happy to go ahead and respond to you guys or make videos according to that. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Go ahead and drop a like, drop a subscribe, and drop me a comment. Let me know which all media apps that you actually use and which ones that you're looking forward to. A lot more tutorials coming up, guys. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you're notified when the video drops. All right, guys, have a great weekend ahead, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers, and happy gaming, guys. Bye-bye.